Hi there, my name is Axel Mulat and welcome to this WordPress plugin series. This episode will be set up a SEO plugin Yoast SEO. SEO plugin is important to your WordPress self-hosted site because you can optimize your content appears in major search engines. Yoast SEO is complicated to set up and I'm here to show you how to set up properly. Okay, go to your WordPress admin and let's install the Yoast SEO. Go to plugin section, add new, and search Yoast. And this is the Yoast SEO plugin by Team Yoast. And as you see, there have over 1 million active installs. Click install now. And click activate. Before we config the Yoast SEO plugin, let's check the settings and go to readings. And be sure uncheck this, discourage search engine from indexing this site. Be sure uncheck this before we proceed. And already unchecked, let's proceed now. This is the plugin installed, Yoast SEO. Go to dashboard and go to general. Let's see this one by one, general features. And enable this advanced settings pages, enable and your info tab and fill this up, website name and company or person. I guess this is a company and enter your site name and your site logo i have a uh, logo guys this is my logo size 335 by 41 use image and webmaster we will set up this guys manually for verification we will not use this option okay save changes and that is the first step in dashboard let's go to titles and metas let's see this one by one in this section we will be go to taxonomies in under the taxonomies go to tag section and we will be set this as no index by the way what is index and no index if you set this tag pages to index the tags pages will be indexed by google if you set this to no index the tags pages will be not indexed by google tag content will be see in the home page in the post page and the archive page that's a cause for duplicate content to remove the duplicate content of the Google will be set as this tag pages to no index. So if we set this to no index, the tags pages will be not indexed by Google because the tags pages have a duplicate content to the other pages on our WordPress self-hosted site. And we'll be go to site click this post and scroll down and let's find a tags page this is the tags page this pages the content of this pages the tags page you will be see in the post page in the home page and the archive page this pages will be see on the google if you not this to set in the no index so we will be set this to no index to avoid the duplicate content in Google same as archive 
author archive settings yes no index and others the navigational page set to no index save changes okay and the social media section just fill your social media URL here. I will be skip the video. And this is my social media URLs. Just fill in your social media URLs here in this section. And we will be go to Facebook. Open graph metadata is for posting in Facebook. If you post your blog into your Facebook fan page, it will be show up the open graph metadata the primary image the blog post title and the description and open graph metadata is not enabled by default in home page if you want to add the open graph metadata in your home page blog url just fill in this section image title in your blog description and twitter and we'll be set this to summary with large image. And Pinterest, if you have a Pinterest page to your website, you can confirm through here. And Google Plus page. And because I put my personal Pinterest URL here, if you have a dedicated business page for Pinterest and Google Plus, you can put through here. And that's all for this section. Save changes. And we will be go to XML sitemaps. In this section, we will be go first to the taxonomies. And we will be exclude the tags in sitemap because the tags is set as no index. Choose not in sitemap. Save changes. And go to general tab and click this XML sitemap. And this is your WordPress sitemap, post, page, and category. This sitemap we will be submit this to the google search console or webmaster tool later on this video and also we will be add this sitemap to the robots.txt let's create a robots.txt now and let's add it now we'll be copy the reference of axelmulat.com robots.txt go to this website and robots.txt and copy this as reference copy and to your desktop create a text document and paste the robots.txt and let's replace this to your wordpress sitemap copy this And paste and if you have additional sitemap here just add to robots.txt too like that and I have three sitemap for now 